Hey, this is Deepak here from digitaldeepak.com and in this video we are going to have a look at the different types of content. So first let's have a look at why content is so important. Content is so important because content forms the top of the funnel. Content is usually a brand's first touch point with a potential customer. It can even be an ad. So if you have more content then you are basically having a wider top of the funnel and if you have a wide top of the funnel then you can attract more people into the funnel which means that eventually you will have more customers. And you should also make sure that the quality of the content that you publish is very good. So I would say that the quality of content can be related to the suction power of the funnel where if you don't have good quality content then it's like the funnel does not have enough suction power which means that even with a very wide content footprint you might not be able to attract people into your funnel because of the quality issues. So now let's look at the different types of online content. The first type is Gyan or knowledge type of articles. These articles are mostly generated by you or your ghost writers or the people in your content team. Then you have interviews, case studies and expert roundup posts. This is partially generated by you and partially generated by other users. Third type of content is data. So in data we have survey results, analysis. So this will be generated by you and your users. Then you have user generated content. User generated content are mostly organized by you but generated by the users. Reviews, submissions and content competitions are some of the examples of user generated content. And then you have content curation. So content curation is basically you are going to organize some of the best content around the web and present it to your audience. So here a very little content is created by you and the rest of the content is created by the other content creators. So these are the different types of online content but these types of online content can be delivered in different formats as well. So when you look at the different content delivery formats we have text so text can be articles on the blog, email content, social media posts, ebooks or even printed books. Then you have audio content such as podcasts and audio files. You have visual content. So visual content includes images, infographics, slide text, interactive charts. So all these are visual content. And then you have audio visual content. So audio visual content is basically video. This could be recorded videos, live videos, screencasts, animations or any type of video. So all the different types of content can be delivered in all these delivery formats and these are delivered in different platforms like platforms include browsers, apps, ebooks or offline printed books or printed newspapers or any type of platform. So platform is not something that is under your control because that is something that will grow with technology and become different with technology. So whatever the platform may be, these are the four different delivery formats and in the previous slide we had a look at five different types of online content. So now what we will do is that we will go ahead and explore in depth with each and every type of online content and what can be done inside that type. So as we had discussed before, Gyan is the first type. In Gyan you can publish personal experiences, it could be thought leadership articles. It could be how-to articles, guides or frequently asked questions. It could be top 10 lists or top 7 lists or top 3 lists. Then you have product reviews which is a major part of affiliate marketing. You have product comparisons which are like reviews but you compare different products. And then you have a very major category which is news. A lot of news websites or blogs publish news in a particular category. The second type of content is interviews, case studies and expert roundup posts. So here it could be interviews, interviews can be in any format and in any delivery format. And then you have case studies and then you have expert roundup posts. So when you look at interviews, you are ba basically asking different questions to a single person. And when it comes to expert roundup posts, you are asking the same question to multiple experts and going to publish it on your blog. Then you have ask me anything sessions or also called AMA sessions. So basically you hire an expert and go ahead and publish it on your forum as a ask me anything session where the audience can ask anything to that expert. You can host AMA sessions yourself as well as an expert in front of your audience. The third type of content is data. 
data can be surveys polls or quiz results it can be analysis of a specific topic backed by data published by someone else it can be your own data where you have done research and you are going to publish the research findings it can be templates or worksheets something like income tax calculator or home emi calculator data usually has very good authority because data is something that not everyone can replicate directly and sometimes when you publish research findings or results of surveys then it becomes a very proprietary data which only you can publish and you basically own that content so such posts attracts a lot of backlinks and it basically makes your blog more authoritative in front of your audience the fourth major type of content is user generated content user generated content can be guest posts or contributions on your blog it could be content competitions where you can conduct a competition for people to submit memes videos articles photos or any other format of content and it can be in a particular category then you have users reactions or comments inside blog posts so those are also user generated content then you have polls and surveys with instant results forums or groups are a great source of user generated content many people own very big forums and they don't take any effort in creating content at all they just maintain the forum and make a lot of revenue from advertising but the content is generated by the users completely then you have wikis the largest website in the world wikipedia is completely user generated content where multiple experts go ahead and contribute articles to it and anyone can go ahead and edit the article so the fifth type of content is content curation content curation is basically publishing a collection of best content from around the web for your users you can add a small comment a quote and then a link so this can be shared on forum social media or your own blogs it can be a, a list of the best posts or it can be a single post which you think will be useful for your audience so content curation helps a lot with increasing the affinity with your audience because as a friend you wouldn't hesitate sharing good content with with someone else right and if you do it it helps not being seen as overly self promotional so if you have a group or if you have an email list or a blog and if you keep promoting your own content then users are going to get tired of it but if you publish content from around the web which are better content than you or content in categories where you have not published but you still think are useful for the users then you should definitely go ahead and publish such content so that's about it for this video uh, i have also attached the slide deck below this video so that you can go ahead and review it we have had a look at five different types of online content the different delivery formats and the different platforms so i want you to take notes probably write it down and put a sticky note or a post it note in front of your computer with the five major types and four major delivery formats and keep thinking about whether you are leveraging all the different types and the formats to have the widest content footprint if you have any questions leave a comment below thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video bye bye